But first, all new information that every parent needs to hear right now. A local student misses dozens of days of class. Her parents now under investigation. Yeah, we just finished going through the documents, and the numbers are just jaw-dropping. According to a police report, the elementary school girls skipped more than 70 times this year. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joins us now from Charlotte Mecklenburg School Headquarters. Tanya, you learned it's easier than parents might think to face these type of charges. Oh, sure it is. You want proof? Look right here. These reports just from today, every one of them a parent who could be in trouble with the law because their kids weren't showing up at school. And it doesn't take 70 absences like that girl. It actually only takes 10. When the bell rings for the start of the school day, the expectation is that your child will be there. But an 11-year-old at Mountain Island Lake Academy has missed that school bell 70 times this year, and her parents could wind up in jail because of it. CMS, like most school districts, follows a state law that says if your child misses 10 or more days of school without a good reason, the parents could wind up charged. We hate to see parents penalized, but that is the law. Just this week alone, three other parents are now possibly facing criminal charges because their elementary school students had major truancy troubles. CMS tries to work with parents before it gets to that point, and so does communities and schools. And if we see the number of absences increasing, we want to get a meeting with their parents, we make phone calls, we make home visits. They say when kids are missing school that young, there's often other issues that come into play. What are the underlying problems? What is it that is keeping you from getting your child to school on time or every day? Right now, there are more than 6,000 kids in CMS who are getting help getting to school regularly. But if they don't, any one of those parents could pay the price. And we want school to be something, somewhere where kids want to be there and know how important it is and how it relates to their future. And, you know, their future is in jeopardy. So a CMS spokesperson says that the schools make a lot of effort before it gets to the point of potentially facing criminal charges for the parents. They send notes home. They will hand deliver notes and they try having meetings to engage the student and come up with action plans so that it doesn't fall under that last resort of facing disciplinary action for the parents. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.